All right, everybody, our first two questions will come from Mike Griffith and Anthony Dasher. Uh, yeah, Chris, Christopher, can you um, can you just talk about the uh, the interception, what you saw, what went down on that play? Uh, well, you know, we've, we have been working that play all week, uh, trying to uh, perfect our disguise on the play. We had a, got a great look, and um, we got a good route concept. Um, I showed that outside, and I broke inside. He threw it right to me, and the rest was history. Did you, wait, did you think DJ might get you on that angle? Uh, I couldn't see him. I was just focused on getting to the end zone. Hey, Chris, just about the this defense as a whole, and particularly what you saw, you got a great, the best view of all the job that defensive front did tonight, getting the pressure they get on, yes, on DJ. Just describe what you saw from that, your standpoint. Full credit to our defensive line. Uh, you know, they're one of the best in the nation, and I've seen them work day in and day out. Um, they got a lot of pressure on the quarterback today, and I definitely helped us out in the back end. Uh, linebackers, too, on our blitzes, and uh, uh, Coach Lennon called a perfect game for us. Let's go to Jake Rowe and then Ivan Mazel. Chris, uh, I know, you know, it's one of those things where it takes what it takes and you guys win whatever way it takes. But at the same time, is this kind of a how – how do you come away from a game like this whenever you basically clicked on one side but, but didn't really click on the other? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know, we're going uh, we to uh, go in tomorrow, watch film on the game, put this game to rest. You know, we're going to get ready for our next opponent. You know, we always focusing on getting better, no matter the outcome of the game, uh, win or lose. So, you know, we're just going to go in tomorrow, make sure we uh, watch our film and make sure we find ways to prove, improve on both sides of the ball. You know, nobody was perfect tonight. Christopher, did you feel like you were baiting DJ? You said, can I get that question again? Yeah, did you feel like you were baiting him, getting him to throw that pass? Yes, you. sir. That was the that was the whole point of the uh, play. You know, uh, we ran uh, that play a thousand times during the uh, fall, spring, and uh, summer. So uh, you know, we we've, we've been working on our disguise. Um, Brittany did a great job of of holding it, showing blitz, and uh, you know, I showed outside and jumped inside. It was a perfect uh, perfect route combination, and you know, he threw it right to me. Let's go to Dennis Dodd and then David Pascal. Dennis, you have a question? Yeah, sorry. Chris, at what point could you guys concentrate on what you were you guys were doing in the back because they couldn't run the ball very well? Um, you know, we was concentrated the whole game. You know, we had a uh, we put together a good a good game plan throughout the week and we just went out there and executed as well as we could. You know, a lot once again, a lot of credit to the D-line. Uh, they put a lot of pressure on the quarterback and that made our job a lot easier. Christopher, how much do you enjoy a 10-3 to game like this? There's so many college football games now that are 42-35. This mm -hmm. kind of had a throwback feel to it. How much fun is it to kind of prove that you can still win games this way? Definitely had a, a throwback feel to it. You know, every game I, I play in is, is, is fun to me. You know, I en enjoy the game of football. Uh, but this one is a little, little bit extra special. You know, uh, two top five teams. Uh, Clemson played a great game. We played a great game. And uh, it was fun, for sure. Uh, Connor Riley and then Mark Weiser. Hey, Chris, do you think you make that play tonight if you don't have the playing experience that you have at the end of last season? How important was that for you going into a game like this to start the year? Well, honestly, honestly, I'm not sure. You know, uh, things can shake out differently uh, regardless of the situation or anything like that. But, you know, I give credit to all my teammates, uh, a lot of my coaches and stuff. You know, we put in countless – countless, countless um, hours of working through plays and working through our disguises and, you know, uh, trying to execute a game plan to the best of our ability. So, you know, uh, just going through all that, you know, um, making sure we uh, locked in on our assignments and things like that, that that's what ultimately, played, ultimately paid off in the end. Christopher, how do, you, how do you think the secondary did as a whole? I know there's some pass interferences there in the second half, but um, obviously kept them out of the end zone. What did you learn about, you know, the unit back there? Yeah, I, I, I felt I felt we did pretty good. You know, we, we definitely had some pass interference. But, you know, our main goal is to stay composed no matter what's going on in the game. You know, uh, those things those things going to happen. You know, we're going to get penalties uh, thrown on us. But the most important thing is staying composed, and, you know, getting after it for the next play. And I feel like we did a great job of that. You know, it's, it's ebbs and flows in every game. You know, it's, it's never going it's never going to be even kill the whole game. You know, we, you're going to have adversity. You just got to over, overcome it. Let's go to Seth Emerson and then Pat Forty. Chris, just this moment, 
Um, I mean, it's only the first game of the season, but a lot of people are going to turn this into a big deal. How do you, how do you view it? Is this a big game for the program, for this team? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's definitely a big game for the program. Um, all the players on the team, you know, we've been looking forward to it um, all fall. So, you know, it's definitely a big game. Uh, Christopher, how confident were you guys looking at them on film uh, that you could really take some a lot of things away from them? Mm -hmm. But um, actually, they had they had a lot of plays, um, a lot of formations and things like that. So it, it took it took a little minute um, earlier in the week. Uh, we struggled a little bit trying to uh, try to figure out the tendencies and things like that. But you know, uh, just like every game week, you know, as the week goes on, you get better and better at it and identifying um, our coaches. Um, once again, countless hours, you know, getting ready a game plan for us and players. You know, we come in extra, you know, get film in, and I feel I feel like that ultimately helped us out in the end. Okay, let's go to Jeff Schultz. Jeff, do you have a question? Jeff Schultz, can you hear us? Okay, Christopher, thank you for your time. Congratulations. All right, thank y'all. I want to tell you, pow, pow.